like questions about like healthy relationships and stuff like that and that's what our focus is so the first question give you a simple question um is it important for young people to have sexual health education if they want it they could get it Thanks. Yeah, anyone any of you guys disagree or have anything to add well yeah i feel like it's important <laughs> because you know, sometimes yeah, right. kids might try to just go have sex and not know what they're doing. Mm, and, you know, they could have like an STD or anything like that, or get a baby on the way, you know, you never know. How old were you when you had sex? Well, <laughs> don't be like me. My first time having sex, I was 11 years old. It was like, it's a long story. What was that experience like for you? Was it a positive or negative experience? It was good and weird. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just having a phone with some friends, a female friend. Okay. Like, where did you learn that that was even something that you could do? My friends used to talk about it in school all the time, and I used to want to try and do it. So it was just something like I was just trying to be cool and just be like everybody else. But when you were that age, were you concerned about like STIs or? STIs? Not at all. I didn't know any of that stuff existed for real, for real, at that age. So like being young black men, like what is like the idea of like masculinity? Is it defined by like how many women that you can have sex with? Is it defined by how tough you are? How much money you make? I'm just interested. Yeah, sometimes people sometimes have sex named, uh, related on bodies and stuff like that. Okay. Sometimes. Yeah, a lot of people try to like, you know, a lot of people like to have sex with people that, you know, you see somebody with like the newest sneakers out or something like that. Everybody would try to be on that dude or something and try to just get with him or whatever like that. You know, the flyest person, basically the flyest person at the school is basically the one that's going to basically attract all the females. Okay, so the first question, is it important for young people to have sexual health education? Yeah. So, how, how so? Why do you think? Because, like, um, when you're young and you get pregnant, it's hard to take care of the baby. Your parents wanna don't want to have to do that, you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Do you have any adding Girl, remarks? There's so many people don't have education and and they get pregnant. Yeah. So, they need they need that education. Like, how, how are you supposed to know? How are you supposed to know when you have all these diseases and you don't yeah. have that education? Do you have anything to add or they said it all? They said it all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so do you guys think that young people think about STIs or no. anything when they... Nah, like, if you see the stuff on social media and Snapchat, would they be posting this stuff? Nah, they don't know about that. Come on, I've been with five people like, whoa, like, yo, we've been with the one. <laughs> like, in one week, it's just like, yeah. yeah. Okay. Now they don't know. Go ahead and uh, put right. your name and shout out any social media, whatever you want to shout out. I'm August Smithers. <laughs> yeah. That's it. So, um, is it important for young people to have sexual health education? Yes. And how so? How do you think? For they don't um, bring babies that they can't take care of into the world that they can't take care of. Okay, that's good. Um, how do you feel about uh, having sex? ever think about STIs or aka STDs when they, when they make these choices? No. I like your hair. They probably don't. But they should. Mm -hmm. That's Why should they? Yeah, it's a sex, sex really transmitted disease and it's not healthy for anyone. Huh? What sort of like defines manhood for you? Oh, taking responsibility of your actions. Okay. What do you think society thinks manhood looks like? Taking responsibility of your actions. Young person, what would make you think about HIV and AIDS and STIs before you make a decision? That's okay. It's okay if you don't know the answer. A lot of people don't know. It's all right. That's why we're trying to find out. Are you recording right now? Yes, I'm recording. So for me, I've never been in a relationship relationship. But what I assume to be a healthy relationship is like... <laughs> what? <Well, I> <laughs> 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 to be healthy is like give and take, like trust and communication, and like... Um, so to piggyback off of what Marion just said, communication, <laughs> communication looks like, I have been in a relationship with so I can't really speak from my experience, but I can say what communication means and what I think healthy communication is. I think when uh, you have like a problem, a conflict, just being able to share that conflict honest, honestly 
and do it with respect and not trying to like bash the person and not be angry. Come like after you're, you've been pissed off so that you can come to them um, respectfully. And then um, communicating just like your goals to the person if, the person, if your significant other doesn't know your goals and they can't really, you know, vibe with you on the level that you're in in life. The relationship is, is dependent upon what you are looking for, basically. So some people may be looking for this, some people may be looking for that, others may be looking for both, others may be looking for neither. So, like, like, what are some of the most important ways to treat your partner in a relationship from a young man? Respect. I see. Okay. And so what does respect and honesty look like? Ask them what they say and just respect their space. What an unhealthy relationship looks like. Disrespectful. Um, abuse. What are like two things that will make up like a healthy relationship, like a healthy romantic relationship? Um, communication, trust. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you. Communication and trust. Yeah. And what does that look like, really quick? Give me an example. Like that, like back in the day relationships, basically. Okay. Yeah. Back in the day. Yeah, where it was only one man and one woman. It wasn't many other women. Okay, so we want some monogamy. Yes. Okay, respect. So for those of you who haven't like been in a relationship. Um, what has sort of prevented you from, like, jumping into one? <laughs> um, um, hmm, wow. I really, <laughs> I really never had the opportunity to, um, do that. And I think for myself, I feel like I'm very independent, and I don't like to, like, get out of my comfort zone and, like, just be, like, oh, like, talking to somebody. Just, I feel like I'm very independent. I just don't have time for the foolishness right now in my life. And I feel like I'm working hard, I'm getting my education, I'm doing what I gotta do and I don't want anything to mess it up. Which is kind of like a bad thing to think about. But um, I just feel like I haven't had the opportunity and I don't want to jump into that opportunity. Like if I'm, like, I don't initial, initialize anything, I don't think that's a word. But like, take that initial step. Thank you. Um, I take that initial step and like text someone or like try to like talk to someone in that type of realm, I guess. Yeah, that's what I think of that to be. Having the opportunity to be. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Are we going to need to have any sensors in this video? You do know that. Like, <laughs> when you're in video editing, are you going to put like this? <laughs> <laughs> what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> and, well, for me, it's, well, not only do I hate people, but people do not want to put in the work people just want bam and bomb like there and gone yeah i can't he's just laughing <laughs> Oh no, I'm terrible. That was you just so casually so I just hate people. It just kept going. I just couldn't get past that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. People don't want to put in the work. People right. just want in and out. Or like just Bang and boom, like you yeah. said. So like I think that's the main problem why I'm not in a relationship. I feel like sometimes like if life happens and like you may have Know, started out with a great healthy relationship and it's like 50 50 but then something happens in someone else's life like a family member passes away or somebody's stressed out or there there's things happening in life that life just happens and there's going to be times where you sometimes have to put more in to help your significant other and then there's going to be times where you have to put more in to help your significant other like there's some it's not going to always be 50 50 because there's things that happen in life to allow us to not be our full selves at times and and it shouldn't be like oh she's depressed now so i'm gonna leave her because she can't put in the same effort you have to kind of stick 
stick that through and kind of be the encourager because what if that person needs your support in order to to get out of those things or to, to be encouraged in life at that time. What's the point of being in a relationship as a teenager? What is the point of a romantic relationship as a teenager? Why is bother getting into it? I don't think this is what people think about, but I think that it's good sometimes to be in a relationship when you're a teenager um, because it can allow you to know what you want. Like I was saying earlier, like allow you to build some type of self-confidence in what you want in a relationship before you, you're 25 and somebody who has so much experience and then you like don't really know what you want in your needs and how to communicate with that with other people if you don't trial and error when you're 16 and 17 and finding your real self. You get what I mean? I think that's kind of a time period where you explore things and, and explore your sexuality, explore what you want to do, your sexual needs, explore what you need for your soul when you're with somebody all the time. Although things change over time, but it allows you to have that confidence in yourself and almost self-love and find what you want for yourself and what you need from other people. Mm -hmm. I agree. With the cheese on the track, the mouse still gonna run to it. Honestly. If people see you, if people see other people in a relationship, of course they're gonna want a relationship because that's what they see. Like you, the mouse knows about to die when it hit that trap, but it see that cheese and it's gonna make it go towards it. And that's what I always say. That's what I go by. Like you know, like when people see other stuff, it's gonna make them want to do it. So if that's the social norm, being in a relationship at a young age and having sex and stuff at a young age, it's gonna make you want to do it. Like oh, what's the hype? Get into that. It's an illusion. <laughs> that went over my head. I'm like, what do that mean? You don't have to elaborate. She was thinking about that. I don't think. To eight people, uh, like, I've been in so many situations where people have like tried to play me or like try or like took my trust for granted or anything mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. And like that just made me just like not just like basically like distrust anyone I see. Not like not anything personal to anyone else, but like that made me distrust anyone I see, but I don't want to do that. I want to find like one person that I can I mean, I don't get past the talking stage. Like if I don't see what I'm looking for in the talking stage, it's just over. Like if you, I can't talk to you on a daily basis and you don't hold valuable conversations that have meaning, it's over. If you like, after thought and boffin, it's over. If you don't know what HIV is and what it stands for, we're done. Like, but if you have valuable resources around you and you still fail to know what it is, exactly. But how long does it take you to get those valuable? If we're talking and we're having meaningful conversations, no. But still, you didn't get those valuable resources until last year, and you're like, you can't blame someone else for not knowing. <laughs> yes. Wait. Serious. Wait. Very serious. That's a fact, though. <laughs> Damn. Like, Just adding to. Well, that's a fact. Right. So, like, you can't blame yourself. No, and I'm then sorry. after the fact, what they choose to do with that information, then you make your decision based off what they choose to do with the information that they're given. That's not what I meant. That's what I, said. I said when you have valuable resources around you and you still fail to take the step forward to learn more about it, then okay. you're not for me. That's what I meant. Oh, it's gone. So, oh, do you have anything else to elaborate? I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think about the perception of like down low relationships? Can we finish the damn question? I should have started off with this question. Oh. <laughs> Can we finish the damn question? <laughs> I guess that means that Miriam wants to go first. I do. <laughs> okay. Talk about the tray. Okay, so when I used to be like a freshman, I used to talk to this tray. Explain. <laughs> this tray was the fine tray. What is the tray? Tray is like the down low that's still like girls, but he gay on the low, but nobody know he gay on the low except the gays. So you're gonna have to, so we're gonna have to create like yeah, so when you say that. Latin lingo. Yeah. <laughs> Messing with this little trade piece. He was a fine little piece. He had a car. He was cute. 
Yeah, kid. Hi. Okay. <laughs> 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 it was fun. That's a big moment to fight me. You <laughs> <laughs> was a freshman when you said it. Uh -huh. I was like 14, 15. Now, how fast old were they? Right by my mouth was spicy. I roasted her. How old were they? Come on, some slap. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Trade relationships is fun. It kept me on my toes. Like when I was talking to him, he like used to go through my phone and stuff. So he had to delete shit, hide shit. <laughs> I used to have to like duck and dodge people because he thought. Because he wasn't out yet, so I had to dodge people. So that's it was it was exciting. It kept me on my toes. But looking back on it, stupid. <laughs> like, Which one? You or him? Oh, damn. both of us. Oh, okay. Hi, <laughs> Daya. Next. What is like the the social and cultural impact that these relationships are having? Specifically, talking about young people. It's nasty. Y'all need to stop. Mm -hmm. with these young women. And then going out doing what you doing with these young men or transgender people, I feel like it's wrong. Don't be in a relationship with a young woman making them believe that they're so in love with you or that you're so in love with them. And then going out doing your dirt behind their backs, that's disgusting. Mm -hmm. You need to stop. And there's a difference between being DL and being by yourself and doing what you have to do, but then when you're false advertising, if I see a donut on a picture, I want that donut. I don't want a <laughs> <laughs> it just makes me so upset seeing like what they do, like seeing my friends go through stuff like this. They're believing that these boys are out here Loving the them. perfect boyfriend for them and they're on the street. Stop it. It's <laughs> <laughs> so free up! I'm done. Well, you ever been in a deal relationship? <laughs> <laughs> Definition. Zoom in America. My mom can't see. T. <laughs> Current information. Lingo. Bye. Does that philosophy with it being fun and with a DL relationship being considered like an adrenaline rush, does that add to like this stigma that sort of fetishizes like gay men mm -hmm. and transgendered individuals does that like <laughs> add to like that fetish and is that something that is seen as like negative in that community being fetishized over <laughs> it really depends on the situation because like if you let's say if the person that you know is dl and like you're and then they're like oh i love you i want to be with you but i'm too scared to tell anybody or anything like that then you shouldn't be out here You know what I'm saying? Like you may not be out yet, but don't play anymore. I feel like in any community, it's a negative thing to be like, you fetishize over. Cause like, that's like saying, you look cute for a, a ethnic girl and you're black. Or you look, you're really cute for a black girl. Or that's like saying, you have really long hair. What are you mixed with? Yeah. Like why you assume? And why is it like a fetish to look exotic or like be who you are, like that's, it's just look down at everything that we, well that's how I view it. Like who wants to be somebody's fetish? That's just weird. Cause it goes back to the point um, I think you were making earlier um, about that feeling of um, being wanted, right? So if you feel like you're wanted, some people might confuse somebody wanting them for that fetish with like love. That, that love and actually being wanted. So how do you, do you feel like people um, who may be like part of the LGBTQ community like are manipulated and preyed upon because like folks aren't really like upfront and honest? It falls down to having respect for someone. Like, um, if you tell them from the jump like what your intentions are, they're gonna believe you. Like, Exactly. Not showing them respect and showing them like, this is what I want to do, this is what I'm getting into, we'll leave it at that. But if you're making them believe that it's something further more than that and they're sitting there thinking that you're thinking something else, no. And that's something that I'm like really sensitive about because, yeah, like people do that with me a lot, just being a hey. person in the community. And I just have to show them like, I'm not scared. I'm legendary in these streets. <laughs> 
Yeah. You guys should have had to tell people. Because they just think they're gonna try it. That's just not what's going on. Oh my god. Props ready. Ah, it's all about being truthful. Like if you're a DL, that's fine. But like you gotta, you got to have communication. You can't be. That shit was on camera. That whole. I'm sorry. But that whole slap me up. That shit was on camera. I'm using that shit. Hey, come on, man. Slap me. <laughs> you gotta have communication. If I don't know what's going on, my mind will be completely everywhere. Oh, get the gun. Get the gun. <laughs> get the strap. Get the strap. It's about, it's all about communication. Don't be flirting with him, her, he, she, we be it. If you Period. think that, okay. if you are here flirting with me, do not go to whoever and flirt with them too because that is not okay and it is not right. And Y'all are sending shots. <laughs> Yo, I love it. I gotta find that home. All right. Man, I think that was it. Y'all got anything y'all wanna add? Anything y'all wanna say? Y'all wanna get a chance to say before we wrap up? Follow me on Instagram. Oh, we're gonna do that then. Okay. Stay beautiful, stay prayed up, and live your best life. Don't hey. And at the end of the day, when the cats away, the mice will play. <laughs> so don't let them get in and don't let them around the because they will take it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the <laughs> 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 like, yeah. When the cats away, the mice will play. What are you doing? <laughs> 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 this wasn't about me today. It's not important to me. But, um, what does it mean? I respect everything that everyone said. And I think you just can't, like, you can't. Oh. <laughs> Shots is still going wrong. I think the issue is the right. Okay, anything else? Um, follow me on Instagram, Demario underscore M. Add me on Snapchat, Demario underscore M. Facebook, Mark Tiller. Until you're nigga name yet. Alright, it's I been. I already hit 5,000 on Facebook, so you can't add me even if you wanted to be a follower, though. <laughs> um, Instagram, oh. Gunlove, Snapchat, Pooberry. The O's is zero. Thank you. They'll be in the caption. Stay beautiful. Um, Period. Well. Period. <laughs> Definitely. Go to our Facebook page. Like our Leaving our folks. legacy. Like oh, our well. pictures. Hold Come on. to our oh. event. And stay prayed up. Yes. Oh, period. Period.